Hello, everybody. My name is uh, Ruud. Uh, several years ago, I started a company with uh, some other people, and we decided to, uh, to start designing color measurement equipment. And color measurement equipment, probably you already can imagine what it does. It measures colors of all kinds of sorts of objects. Anyway, now I want to show you an example of how color measurement equipment can make the world a little bit of a better place, especially with respect to sustainable energy. Uh, some time ago, we had a customer, which uh, is a manufacturer of solar cells. Probably everybody knows solar cells. And the customer was asking us, I want to measure the color of the solar cell. And we were thinking, why does he want to measure the color of the solar cell? And he told us, purely for aesthetic reasons. Because in his process variation, he got a lot of different colors when he was producing the solar cells. And we were wondering, how is that possible? So first, I'd like to explain a little bit how a solar cell works. It's only a very brief explanation. Basically, a solar cell consists of the major part, which is a polycrystalline silicon. This is actually the heart of the solar cell. And what does the polycrystalline silicon do? Is it converts sunlight to energy. However, to improve the efficiency of the, of the solar cell, they put an anti-reflective coating on top of the solar cell. And the anti-reflective coating is blue. You can see it over here. And now the problem is, if you put an anti-reflective coating on side of the solar cell, you need a certain, uh, certain thickness. However, the thickness should not be too thick, and it should not be too thin. It should be exactly between a certain limit. And now the problem uh, occurs with the existing technology, this is quite difficult to achieve, uh, to achieve correct measurement of the thickness. So what the equipment, what they actually use to measure the thickness is called an ellipsometer. This is quite a complex device, and it's also very expensive and difficult uh, to use into production line. Because you have to imagine the solar cell comes, uh, goes by a conveyor belt, and it's made, of course, first. Then the conveyor belt goes through the anti-reflective coating process. And after that, you actually want to measure the thickness of the coating. Now, this is actually a problem because it's very difficult to use in line. So because the process is quite yeah, it's variable, you get different thicknesses of anti-reflective coating. Now we made up a different solution. If you look at the uh, solar cells and you look at the anti-reflective coating and several thicknesses, then you can see each thickness stands for a different color. And now you probably can already guess the clue. If I can measure the color, I should be able to make a relationship with the uh, anti-reflective coating thickness. Now, we did some investigation, and what we saw was that you can get, you can get a linear a correlation between thickness and color. This is a very cost-effective solution, and it's very easy to use in line, but overall, you get a better quality of solar cells, which helps you to reduce scrap rate and increase efficiency. Okay, thank you very much.